Hi everyone, I'm Remy Lai and I'm the author and illustrator of the Surviving the Wild series, which is about animals trying to survive in the wild after their environments have been changed by humans. And so these are the first two books. Um, they are mainly for six to nine year olds. And so the first one is called Star the Elephant, which is about a family of elephants trying to survive, uh, trying to find a new home after their, um, their old one was lost to deforestation. So this is what it looks like inside. And so now I'm going to show you how I draw a couple of characters from this book. So the first one I'm going to draw is the main character, Star. So I'm going to start by drawing half a circle uh, that way. Half circle. And then I'm going to draw the trunk. So I'm going to draw a wavy line. You can wave it whichever direction you want. And then I'm going to close it up and then I'm going to close it this way. So now we have the trunk. And then we're going to draw the legs. So from the trunk here, I'm going to draw a straight line down and then a short straight line across and then another short straight line up, but not all the way up. You can see it's about halfway of this line here. And then now we go to the back. We continue this line with a straight line um, about the same level as this one because this would be the back leg and then a short straight line across and then from there we join the back leg and the front legs with another line and now so now this elephant has two legs so I'm going to draw the other two legs um, a short straight line across and up and then the same for the other side straight line across and up and now we have four legs and so um, let's draw the elephant's ear. So I love drawing the ear because it's, um, it's big and it's cute. And I like to draw it as a heart shape. So a heart shape is like that, right? But I'm going to draw the heart shape, uh, the heart sleeping on its side. So that way. So now we get the elephant's um, ears. Ear, just one ear because the, the other ear is on the other side. So now let's draw the eye. Um, star's eye is really simple. It's just an oval here. And now we draw star's tail. So we'll go to the back and up here and I'll draw two curved lines. And you can see the tail is a lot um, thinner than the trunk here. And then for the end of the tail, I like to draw it this way. I'm going to draw um, something like the letter U, but upside down. And then I'm going to close that up with uh, three curve lines. So something like that. Three curve lines over there. Um, and so this is almost done. So um, the baby elephants, they, they, the hair on them um, is usually quite visible. So I like to draw it as three tough stuff hair. But you can give him um, more hair if you want here. And so there you go. We have Star the Elephant. And now I'm going to show you how to draw um, a, a minor character in Star the Elephant. Um, in, in the book, Star meets a little crab, a fiddler crab. So let's draw the crab. So I like to draw it this way. I'm going to draw an oval this way. And then um, the crab has five legs, so or hands and legs together. Uh, sorry, I mean they have ten, five on each side, and so let's do the first one here. I'm going to draw a curve up, and then now I'm going to draw um, the crab's claw or pincer. So what I do is I draw um, the letter U, sort of. It looks like the letter U this way, and then I close it up with a letter V. So now we get the crab's uh, claw or pincer. So I said 10 legs, right? Yes, 10 and five on each side. So now we have one here. We need uh, four more. One, two, three, four. So they're just curved lines. 
And so now we draw the other side. So the fiddler crab has one big claw and the other claw is very small. So let's do that. So we do the same, a curve up and then um, a smaller claw. So I do a very small U, the letter U, and then a very small V that way. And then now four more legs, one, two, three, four. So now let's draw the crab's eyes. I like to do it this way. I like to draw, um, so I'm going to do the right eye first. So I draw a straight line up and then a circle at the end that way, like a lollipop or a balloon. And then we do the same for the other eye. Straight line up and then a circle. So now we have two eyes. We just have to draw the dark part of the eyes, the pupils. So you can have your crab looking whichever direction you want. So I'm going to have my crab looking that way. And then I might give it um, a smile this way. And so now we have a crab, a fiddler crab. The second book in the series is this one, Rainbow the Koala, which is about a little koala trying to survive on its own uh, without his mom. And so I'm going to show you how to draw this little guy here. So to draw Rainbow the Koala, I'm going to start, I'm only going to draw his head here. So let's start by drawing a curve, the top of his head here. And then um, I'm going to draw his ears. So they have fluffy ears. So what I like to do, I'm going to draw the side first. So I like to do it this way, a curve out and then two loops back in that way. And then we do the same for the other side, a curve out and two loops back in. And so now we draw um, the rest of the head just by, con if you imagine this curve line continuing here, like that. And then here, if you imagine that it continues this way, go that way. So now we have um, the head. And so they have a big black nose. So I like to draw it as a triangle. So a triangle is this way, but the koala's nose is not that sharp. So I like to draw it as a triangle, but with rounded edges. So it looks like this, a triangle, but with soft edges. So that way. And then um, I'll just have to color that in because it's a dark nose. And then I'm going to draw the eyes. You can use dots or ovals. Um, Rainbow actually has ovals. So one oval and then another one on the other side. And then you can either give him a smile or a frown. So let's do a smile here, a big smile. So there you go. There you have Rainbow the Koala. Thank you for watching and for drawing along with me. And I hope that you'll pick up this book and I hope that you'll like them. Thanks. Bye.